you friends. I'm upstairs in a room that is very rarely used. I use it when uh, I have visitors, uh, which is rare in the summertime maybe, uh, but it's a pretty empty room. Um, and I've decided I'm going to turn it into my office. How posh is that? If you've watched uh, any of these, you'll see that I do all my activities on that big table uh, downstairs in the, the, the bit of the house I call the conservatory because uh, it's got long windows and it looks like a conservatory. Uh, so I do all my sort of uh, making, but I also do all my shipping and packing and all of that. And so sometimes I can't make something because the table is completely full of bubble wrap and, and jiffy bags and labels. And so this room then is just sitting here waiting for me to turn it into somewhere where I can leave all of those things and have one dedicated space to do that kind of thing. If people ever buy anything from the shop, thank you. Uh, then uh, this will be where the sticky labels are and the envelopes, the sticky tape, all of the things that I need, scissors. I think for the first few weeks I'll be running up and down the stairs a lot, won't I? But like I've got a huge roll of bubble wrap and I've just got, had another delivery of envelopes, big uh, jiffy padded envelopes. They're all just clogging up my making space and I've got such a lot of ideas of things I want to make. So I'm going to carry on, tidy this whole thing up. I'll give you a little look at it from the door so that you can see that when I'm here in the office, the office, should we call it the office? Office sounds a little bit too um, serious, doesn't it? We'll think of another name for it. I always call it the pink room. So maybe we'll just carry on calling it the pink room. But come on, I'll show you what it looks like from the door. <laughs> so this is it then. And um, this is the pink, this is why it's the pink room, because of the lovely pink curtains and this pink bedspread that I made uh, years ago, which is, um, it's a little half square triangles thing with nine half square triangles in one block. And it ranges from very pale pink all the way down to quite dark pinks. So uh, this bed will be a useful place to put things down. <laughs> uh, there's a nice big wide desk there, which I'm busy tidying out at the moment. All these pink drawers are empty. Uh, all these drawers, half of those are empty. So I'm going to have to think about emptying the other half. Uh, there's a big stack of jigsaws here because this has been the jigsaw room because it's a cat free room. Uh, and so that's... Um, it's a good place to put jigsaws down, but just look out the window. I mean, it's a filthy rainy day today, but there we are. That's going to be my view out of my pink room window. I'm going to call it the pink room. I'm not going to call it the office. The office sounds like I'm doing something more serious than I am. <laughs> and then the lakes over that side as well and down to the little old hen shed. So there's lovely views out of the windows. I'm going to enjoy working in here. Uh, why wouldn't I? It's beautiful. So uh, I'm going to carry on now uh, and bring upstairs all the things that I need to make this room work. There's a pink room. Okay, do you want to come along for the ride? I'll pop you up there. I'll have to plug you back in again. The uh, electrics are weird in here. There's one, well, there's two sockets, but they're right, right underneath the bed. So I've got to have an extension cable, but that's okay. We can cope with things like that. Whoops-a-daisy. <laughs> I'm going to not trip over the Hoover lead and I'm just gonna bring things upstairs now. Lots of things. <laughs> Catch you in a minute. Well, what do you know? It didn't take prudence long to find it, did it? Just got a new roll of Rob Ryan tape. I love my tape. <laughs> From um, I just really enjoy that tape. This box here is full of the new compliments cards that I got from the printers. So if you bought anything from me, you might be familiar with these ones. And I've only got three of those left now. 
but um, when I was working with the printer, hello you, <laughs> two minutes it's taken her to find me. <laughs> I've got some new cards now and there's a set of four, uh, some lovely little compliments cards with uh, details and so on on the back. So I'm very pleased with those. They can go on the windowsill there. And also, that's the new shipping. This I got this the other day from the post office, and these are the new shipping rates. Because, of course, the price has gone up. And so this is the shipping rates that I'm working from now. So that's really important. I'll put that in the back of there. That's a good thing to have. And then this in this box, then, these are all the airmail stickers and all the customs labels that I need and I've, I've just got loads of it. it used to really really slow me up at the post office <laughs> say hello it used to slow me up at the post office having to fill each one out one at a time so I bought 200 of them and now there you are darling now I've got those and the airmail stickers uh, all good let's put those in a little box and then who doesn't need a big box of pens me I need them so this is going to be excellent I'm excited about this prudence are you so what I've got here is a little thing that's full of nonsense so let's take out the nonsense and we'll use this prudence We'll take out all the nonsense there, and we can use this for these things. Oh man, how cool is that? Great, so my air mails will go in there. All my air mails. Oh, I'm really enjoying this. It's like playing at shop. I can go there. I'm going to need those. Okay, and that's a really useful box there. Now this is some rubbish that was in the... It's not rubbish, I, said, I want to keep it, but I don't need it here. So I'm going to put this, where am I going to put this? I know. Scissors. Never have too many pairs of scissors. There's another pair there. I'll put them in there. The window sill. These are, um, my mum used to make these out of um, cat food tins with a bit of fabric around them and then she would write pens on just in case you're in any doubt as to what you're supposed to put in there. <laughs> They'll be nice to have. I'll put those on the window sill as well. Okay. Okay Prudence, what do you think? What do you think of it so far? Rubbish! <laughs> Okay, let's get rid of some of these things. Sometimes you've got to keep things, haven't you? But not often. <laughs> Sometimes you should just get rid of stuff. Oh, now that's useful. I'll put that, that's going downstairs with the, uh, for the gel printing. That's for the jelly plate. That one there. Uh, okay, that can go in the back of there because it's quite fun. And if you endeavour, fate will favour you. That's true. And that's rubbish as well. So let's throw all of these away. Ah. Uh, that's where that is. I've been looking for that. Right, that's going in the top drawer there. Okay, I'll go downstairs and get some more things. So that uh, must be what, I don't know, 10 trips up and down the stairs, up and down, up and down. So that all the stuff that I got from the printer is now here. It's meant that the table downstairs is empty now, which is absolutely what I needed because I've got so many things I want to make and I, can't, I simply can't get anywhere near the table. So now I can. 
And this then is, I'll bring in a nice chair, that's what I haven't got. I haven't got a nice comfy chair, I'll find one. And then I'm set for up here. As I said, I'll be running up and down the stairs for a long time. Uh, and uh, it'll just be for when I need to pack something and ship something. But it's great. Everything I need is here. All the envelopes are in the drawers. All the boxes of things that I've got here are here. All the wrapping paper and tissue and bubble wrap and all the things I need are here. Tape, that's what I need next. I've got, I've got one roll of tape. I need to bring all the tape up. Right, I'll go and get all that. Lots of tape. I'm going to show you this thing now. I was at my dad's ooh, a couple of years ago when he said, uh, do you want this, uh, love? Do you want this lamp? And what it is, it's an angle poise lamp. Okay. And he must have needed a lamp in his workshop. So he had this one. So he just mounted it on a bit of wood and it's just a little nasty bit of wood from his wood pile and the base is too small so it tips over but you know it makes me laugh a lot so I'm going to plug it in and see if it's still working. Yeah it's perfect. So what I've got to do though is find somewhere to put it where it isn't going to fall over and make a break anything. It has broken a couple of things. This has. It's fallen over and broken some. Uh, I can't remember what now but it did and I should have thrown it away then but it works so why would you throw away a perfectly good working light but I've got to find somewhere for it to go where it's not going to keep tripping me up. So there you go. I've got a, a very bespoke fantastic angle poise lamp which is more trouble than it's worth. Um, oh no, it isn't working. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, it is. It's working fine. So that's great. Uh, I've just got to find somewhere to put that where it won't cause too many problems and tip over. My dad invents things. When he needs something, he'll just invent it. Well, I've made very many trips up and down the stairs and found myself a nice chair. I've just ordered a, a cork board that I'm going to stick on the back of that door there so I can pin things on and it's all looking ship shape up here now. I mean I will still be running up and down the stairs for lots of things but it has really cleared off the table downstairs so that I can make things uh, that I've got in my head to make but for now I want to talk to you about why I've needed to do all of this. So people sometimes wonder what I do when the camera's turned off. I get some comments from people who say how busy I am and, and how much energy I've got. I'm not busy, not really. I know you just see a little video of me being busy, but actually quite a lot of the rest of the time uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not crazy busy. But just lately I have been uh, very, very occupied indeed with going backwards and forwards to the little printers in Hexham. I've been going to proofread things and going to tweak things and swap a couple of pictures, this picture for that, because what they've printed for me, if uh, some of you will have the little book about Norma, now that I've moved everything I can't find anything, oh it's up here, some of you will have this little book, these are the last four copies, once these are gone they're gone. And um, I won't be doing, an, I may do another print run of them, but I, I won't be doing a print run anytime soon because um, I've printed all of these. So all of my um, energy has gone into printing these. But I will print another run of Normas if people want me to once these last four have gone. So what have I got then? I've got six new books, uh, the same kind of format as this one, but about six completely different topics and I've produced a lot of cards 
six different packs of cards with six different themes. So this one is a pack of sunsets all around and about here. There's five different sunsets in there. I'll get, I'll get some of the rest of them. Sunsets. I've got a pack of five different cat post uh, cards, greetings cards. Five different cards of the last homely house around and about the house. Poultry. There's beautiful Eileen. Five different cards there. Flowers. And lastly, but not leastly, different crafts that I like to do. They're all listed on the, in the big cartel shop and I will leave a link in the description below. Oh, and that, So that's the cards. So I've also printed six books. Uh, so there's the Norma books there. One, two, three. Oops, Daisy, that's the same one. Three, four, five, six books. Six brand new books about all sorts of different things. Uh, to do with um, things that I've done as uh, animals <laughs> there are six of these books here and they're all listed over in the shop as well uh, so you could go there and have a read about them if you wanted to so what I want to do then I have another thing to show you it's here I've bought this world map it's enormous, it's absolutely huge. So what I'm gonna do with this world map, I'm gonna mount it on this wall here behind me and I'm gonna try and mount it on something that I can pin into. Because whenever I get um, a comment or an order or uh, I get a new patron or whatever, I love to know where you're from. But I'm also really curious because I have to say, I don't know Ohio and Arkansas and, and I could point to Texas on a map but I couldn't point to Oregon uh, which is embarrassing isn't it for me but it's never been my geography so I've never really understood it so I've got my big map and what I'm going to do every time I get uh, an order I'm going to stick a pin in the map so I'll know where New South Wales is in Australia because I'm not quite sure which side it's on <laughs> and so this map then is going to be my map of you. So if you're still watching this incredibly long video, this is what I want to do. It says in the title, it's the surprise draw. So I'm going to do a giveaway. And this is how you enter my giveaway. The prize will be one of these packs of cards that I will send to anywhere in the world. Now, this is how you enter. On this post only, only on this post, because I'll do a random number generator on the comments on this post. So if you comment on a different post, it won't work. OK, and I'm going to leave this open for, let me see what the date is when I'm going to be um, doing this. Now, let's see. OK, I'm going to leave this open then until the end of the month. So I'm going to draw it on Mother's Day which is the, in, in the UK, which is the 31st of March. So that's two weeks, nearly two weeks. So this is how you enter. You're going to have to be very restrained, OK? If your name, when you comment, is something like mine, the last homely house east of the sea, and nobody would know what my name is because of that, then I need you to write three things. I need you to write your name. So if I was entering, I would write Kate. And then the next thing I need you to write is where are you from? Um, just the state, you know, like for me, I would write Northumberland, UK. And then the third thing that I want you to write is what pack of cards you would like me to send you. So that's three things. Your name, unless your um, username is your actual name, your state or county or where province or wherever you come from you don't have to be detailed about that just you know write utah or whatever or or um victoria is that even somewhere or you know or 
you know, Prince Edward Island. I don't know. You you know where you're from. <laughs> Germany. Whatever. And then the third thing, you'll need to nip over to the shop and have a, a proper look at these so that you can choose if you want sunsets, cats. This set's called Home Poultry. This set's called Flowers. And this one's called Crafts. So you need to tell me the name of the one you would like to win. And on the 31st of March, this uh, 2019, this prize draw will end. And But what I'll do with all of those comments is, I will have this map on the wall by then, and I'll be able to put pins all over uh, with all the places that you're all from, which will make me happy, because it's really, really lovely to think about where all you guys are from. So that's the deal with the prize giveaway. And um, I think you'll enjoy receiving a pack of these sent anywhere in the world to you. So that's it, guys. Pop over to the shop and have a look at the, the new books. Um, there's a little description of each one. And what are also with the books, I will be reading these one every now and then on the Patreon channel as well. Uh, because the reading that I'm doing there is about the Kensky's kingdom, kingdom is about to come to an end. So I should, instead I should be reading um, one of these uh, for, for those people. <laughs> so I'm, I appear to be in my pink room. Where's Kate? She's in her pink room. I'm looking outside at pouring rain absolutely pouring rain. So I'm also looking across the lake at swans, which is rather nice. They're still here. So that's lovely, isn't it? Thank you, YouTube friends. That is quite a long video. Again, I've got another tutorial coming up for you soon. Another one that's a bit like books. So we'll stay tuned for that one as well. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, catch up with you soon. Don't forget, enter three things only. Name, where you're from, generally, and which pack of cards you would like. Take care. Bye now.